Alrighty, what is up guys? Deeport here from Deeport Gaming, and welcome to another Warcraft 3 commentary. And today we got a matchup between the Blue Orc player. It's gonna be Fly here, and his opponent. It's gonna be 1 2 0, the Red Undead player getting his block in, DK, on his way out, and he actually went for the early Fiend approach. Don't see that from 1 2 0 too often. I guess it is kind of a big map. Um, Boyd Master's not gonna be able to. I mean, you're not going to be able to send your DK over there and prevent a, a DK harass, potentially. Um, you do have some decent green camps. You can go for these these camps here, but Voidmaster, 9 times out of 10, going to be able to uh, scout that out. Anyways, though, late DK coming in. Two fiends ready to go. He's got his rotten necromancy as well. Didn't even get the dust right off the bat. And some safe creeping for 1-2-0. Meanwhile, one barrel tech here for Fly, and we do need to change his perspective so we can see the Blade Master. There we go. And he's going to be aggressive and go for the Null, but pretty safe, considering 1 2 0 is all the way over here. He should have his 2 Fiend tech going soon, and he actually makes his third ghoul before. Okay. I guess that makes sense. You don't have the lumber for it, so make the ghoul. Blade Master was scouted out though. Oh, maybe a coil. Can he get it? No way! Blade Master got it though. Last hit. Very close there for Fly. Playing with fire. And whoo, whoo, whoo. Look at this. I think he bought one circlet, but yeah, so he's got two, three circlets now. Scroll speed and healing cell. Do we have a dust? No dust. Wow, one, two, zero. He's got to have to coil. Oh, he missed the coil, but he still got the creep. He picks up his level two now. Blade Master just going to use his critical strike hit. Oh, he's kind of dragging. I think he wants an ensnare. Ooh, he got it on the, on the skeleton, though. Almost well executed there. Third barrel. Another grunt coming on. I think he has uh, one grunt. And gold mine actually very easy to take here. Let's see. Boy, master. Whew, he's getting some great items. Claws of attack plus six. Whew. Man. Incredible start here for the blade. Meaning by that one, two, zero. Tech about halfway through. Now DK going for his null camp all the way across town. Let's see here. What did he use to uh He actually held on to his sentry ward. I think he wants to hold on to it just in case of a fiend. Instant Fortress Tech, Beast Jerry, as well as Shadowhunter coming out. Here we go, though, Boyd Master for Fly. Oh, Boyd, uh, DK. He wanted the DK, perhaps. Now he's got the block on Fiend, though. Coil, he doesn't have any more, though. He might be able to get the Fiend, and I like that one. He's just running it the opposite way. No uh, block. DK getting blocked, though. Oh, Boyd. He's taking a lot of right clicks, but not too concerns. One two zero showing his micro skills a little bit, not taking too much. Yeah, very nice micro. Doesn't take too much damage there. Maybe block with the skeleton. And there's the wind walk being used. Looking for a fiend. Maybe he needs boots, perhaps. Won't be able to chase down. He maybe he could chase down this fiend. It's gonna take a while though. He's like maybe if he gets a crit critical strike whack on the grunt pursuit, and yeah, maybe he'll get it. Just needs one more hit after this. And he'll get a fiend. Nice. Unless he denies it. Denied! Ooh. Super unfortunate. He's got the Shadow Hunter now. Raider coming out. And tier 3 here, about two thirds of the way through. Once his ear is showing pretty decent micro here. Blade Master. Is lurking though. He's got the uh, sentry on 120 here. Creepjack should be incoming. Only one coil here. He's not going to go for the ogre. He wants to go for the fiend perhaps. Lich is here though. It's going to be tough. Shadowhunter's right around the corner though. Here we go. Hex on to fiend actually. He's a frost armor. Going to catch it. He's got one coil left. Blade Master. Oh, maybe a critical strike. Going to get the coil. 120 is still showing good micro. There's a speed scroll though. He's going for the fiend. No more coil. 
The Fiend should fall. Blade Master gonna clean that up. He's looking for another one. There's a Hex. He's got the Frost Armor, though. Blade Master, he's taking a lot of right clicks, though. Might need to Wind Walk. Doesn't have enough for a coil, though. He's looking for the Fiend. He's gonna Wind Walk now. Needs a couple more right clicks. Shed Hunter, long distance. Gonna snag it. Oh, almost got the surround there for 1 2 0. He's not gonna get it, though. And two Fiends down. We're under attack. He needs a statue to get some more mana for that DK. And a nice find there for Fly. Oh, maybe Miss Rally. He's got two Raiders here. Snare upgrade as well. Maybe just holding him back. Time being. This should give the Blade level 3. And, whew, wow. Potion of Invul picked up. And that's a big takeaway. He's going to lose the ground for it, though. But I think that's worth it. Gonna be very close for his DK level three here. Yeah, but these blade items. Let's see what he gets here too. Another potion of invul. No way. Oh man, that's brutal. Should he get the torn chieftain? I think. Warmo going. That's the resource. He does have an eye on 1-2-0 here. He does have his orb on Lich. 3 DK here. And I th I mean, just off these hero items, I think Fly should probably win this game. But let's see. 1-2-0. He's definitely playing from behind. Lost a couple fiends already. Um, but he is he is getting this creep though, so let's see if he can turn this around. Could come back with some decent micro. Shadowhunter. What? Did he sell? Did he sell the info? He had three of them. I think he did sell one. Okay. He sold it probably for the orb. Let's see what he grabs here. Claws of Attack plus 12? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, he did get a Django. Not bad. But Claws of Attack plus 12 on Blade? What? Plus 27? Shadowhunter's level 3 now too? That is painful. Ready to brew. And ooh, fly. The fly specialty here, guys. Don't get to see this too often. The Alchemist. Third hero, I like it. There you go. Engage from fly. He's going for the statue first. An instant TP out there for 1 2 0. And he's going to lose the statue. And Alchemist actually pretty successful. I'm pretty sure uh, the first GCS qualifier fly qualified and and he actually beat 1-2-0 with the Alchemist. So definitely uh, definitely not a joke. It's a pretty good third hero. Just you don't see a lot of other orcs doing it. Fly is kind of the the creator of it or the one that's using it quite a bit. It's that acid bomb, pretty good combo with Blade, obviously. And any good items picked up? Ring regen. Wonder what the Lich got there. Stormwind. So yeah, he's got a aura city here. Uh, and two goals of haste. Pretty solid items for Lich. Circlet. Okay. DK though. No really emergency items. Scouted for that. But I'm afraid this Boyd Master is just out of control. So no wonder we didn't see a torn chieftain. Hitlord picked up here for 1 2 0. Ready to work. We're under attack. He's going to drag this creep, actually. That's pretty bold, right next to his base. Tower going up here. Tower Defensive tower upgrades as well. Alchemist already level 2. DK will grab his 4 here. I wonder if he'll actually go Death Pact. He got his uh, Potion Invul, though. Peon's actually running down to the expansion. Ooh, Tiny Grid Hall. Oh. Rude Bracers for the Blade now. This guy's almost unkillable and does 31 damage with a Kodo. Gives him a Slippers, too. 
Gonna tower up now, forcing 120's hand. Blade going for a Crypt Fiend. But uh, Scaly over here, not too big of a deal. 50 food to 50 food. Here we go, Blade Master going straight for the statue. Acid Bomb needs to be used. Didn't use it just yet. There's the Howl going off. There's the Acid Bomb. Minus two armor now. Blade Master just chew through those. DK is sitting with some nice mana and a Mana Stone. No TP here for 120 though. Oh, Alchemist is in some trouble. He's getting blocked. There's the big nuke. He's going to fall. No, he's a healing wave. He needs something. He needs a right quick. There he goes. He falls. Blade Master in some trouble. He does have a big potion. Oh, Pit Lord. He's going to catch a coil. He's still got a Frost Armor as well. How going to be used. Blade Master taking a lot of damage. There's the big potion to Invul. 15 seconds. How much damage can he do? Missing quite a bit, though, from the Banshee. At least these units are. Now he'll be able to pick it off. Blade Master not affected, obviously. How much can he go for? He's back up to heal. Uh, some... Full HP basically. Trying to go for the Crypt Fiend. Can't get it. Dust being used. Blade Master still hacking down the Crypt Fiend. It's still even food wide. Blade Master in trouble. He needs a healing. Need something. Let's get a wind walk. Is there a Dust? No, there's not. Should be okay. Pit Lord back to full HP. 1 2 0. Able to force back. Fly here. He's going to coil it too. He still has his Mana Stone if he wants to use it. Pit Lord picks up level 2. This boy, he's got a heal potion as well. He's going to re-engage. Here we go and snare onto Pit Lord. He's going for Pit Lord. No coil. He's going to use a stone. Ooh, critical strike. Almost took him down. Now, Blade Master in some trouble. Lich, does he have a nuke? No, he doesn't. He's going to use the potion. Still going after Pit Lord. Blade Master, he's getting low. He's got a healing wave, though, I presume. Oh, he's going to pass the invul even, too. Raider going to fall. Blade Master looking to re-engage. He's going for DK. Oh, there's no emergency items. Is there going to be in snare? Blade Master, he's taking a lot of right click. Now he's going to go for Invo. Oh, a big critical strike. Still coil. 1 2 0 is micro. Really good. There's a healing wave, though. Blade Master looking for something. He needs a purge. He needs something. Taking a lot of right quick. He needs another healing wave, though. It's going to be close. Oh, he looks. He went for the pump fake. He wanted the blade, but he goes for the coil onto the Pit Lord. Blade Master going to re engage, perhaps. Here he goes. The shot coming into play. Blade Master going into Banshee. He's going to clean it up. Doesn't have a curse on him. However, taking a lot of right quick. Oh, Lich getting very close to the nuke. And there's the coil. Keeps him alive, though. Blade Master going to get a potion as well. Now he's okay. He's at 50%. Oh, another big nuke coming in. Though. A lot of right quick. Needs to be careful. Needs to be careful. There's the nuke. And Blade Master's down. 1 2 0. He's got to coil his fiend and keep it alive. 52 food to 42. He's still in this fight. Really great micro. Shadow Hunter picks up level 4, though. The Alchemist is back. How going off and 1-2-0 is still here. He's got statues keeping his heroes in this. And now the Blade Master back from the tavern. We do have the expansion up here for Fly, and he's still got his voodoo here. Here he goes. Blade Master actually coming around the long way. And 1-2-0 still got this pressure going. He needs his blade to fight here, or he just he just doesn't have the damage to compete with 1-2-0 here. This lich still with the invul. DK now is a core now. Pit Lord, he's kind of just the tanky front line. Blade Master now with no potion. Or with no uh shop here. He needs to remake it. There he goes. But yeah, he needs to be careful. He doesn't have any emergency items. And what a fight here. No one to zero onto the watchtower. Blade Master leading the charge. Lich has enough for a nuke. He's got the curse on him now, and one to zero gotta respect him back up for the time being. Let's back in. His army pretty healthy with these statues. He's got decent mana now, too. Blade Master missing quite a bit. There's the nuke onto the raider. It's going to be okay, though. He's got the healing wave. Lich in trouble. Going to get frost armor as well as a coil. No more nuke for the Lich for the time being. Blade Master going to Crypt Fiend. Still missing quite a bit. He's going to use a coil. 1, 2, 0, man. These coil micro. Really nice timing. Fiend might still fall. Nonetheless, though, he's going to burrow. Nope, he dies to the burrow. Now it's on the Banshee. Blade Master doing his job, doing well. Might get these Raiders, though, healing wave. Man, my good micro coming from both players. Coil gonna get on the Lich. He's still got an Invul, too. Maybe not. Oh, man! He got a nice, massive critical strike, and he falls! He even had the potion to Invul, but the Hex timing there, and the Fly critical strikes always coming at the right moments. And he takes down the Lich. Wow. And that just makes 1-2-0 run for the woods. He's gonna take down a couple statues as well. And he just needed one massive critical strike. The plus 37 damage. <laughs> Holy cow. Crazy. He did get his Lich back from the tavern, though. So let's see. Are we going to go back to the battle? Blade Master scouting this. He's not Windwalked either. There he goes now. 45 food to 47. But, I mean, Fly can just kind of keep his expansion up. He's got one watchtower here, too. It kind of does damage over time. I mean, not too much. But it does kind of make a difference. 
Abomination here to help the front line. Lich, what's that item? Blademaster gonna go for Banshee first. Got the curse off, nicely done there, just in time. Acid bomb though, Blademaster in trouble. Got the healing wave, he's got an invul though, should be okay. Needs to be careful, there's a coil, massive nuke! Not even gonna be able to invul. Now the Raider's down as well. Wow, what a game changer. Blademaster just explodes. And now it's Fly's turn to run away. 1-2-0, he's just got to clean up, gets the Kodo as well. And what just happened? The Blade Master's gone now, and I don't even think Fly can fight this. Looks like he's going to try to turn and fight, though. Alchemist is level 3. He's pretty tanky. He's going to use his Chemical Rage now. Healing Wave. He's kind of just running away. Looking for the statue. SH kind of been some trouble as well. He needs his Blade Black. What's his resources looking like? Oh, he doesn't have enough. He's probably trying to get him back from the... The altar, right? Yeah, he is. He doesn't have enough for it. What are the gold mines looking like? About 2k left. And Fly still kind of needs to stay around here. Can't let this expansion go for free. It's the only thing keeping him in this game. Gonna lose a grunt, though. one 2 0 now. Not the greatest start. Lost like 2-3 fiends early game. But still able to battle back here. His micro, really great. On the chase now. Fly, trying to get a few punches in. Not let this go for free, but it looks like it's going to fall. He needs his blade black. Blade back. I can't talk right now. You gotta get the Great Hall. DK. Satisfactory last hit. Shadow Hunter. He's at level 4. Trying to clean up these Berserkers, but 1 to 0. He's right around. Boy, Master finally out. How's it going, buddy? We get the clarity and head on over. Still has that big potion. Oh, Pit Lord. A little out of place here, but. Did, definitely didn't have the damage for it. He could have just howled and definitely would not be able to kill that Pit Lord. Especially with the Frost Armor potential Death Coil coming in as well. But here we go. I mean, it could still... If if Fly could get some major hero kills here, DK doesn't have an emergency item. If he can get a DK kill here, if 1 0 makes a big mistake and loses this DK. Oh, he's going for a big camp here. Perfect timing. There's no town portal. If this is the fight that he needs, it's got to be now, I think. Here we go. He doesn't want to fight in the choke point. Blade Master going to engage. He's going for the statue first. Statue, big nuke on Blade. Blade's going to be okay. Catch the healing wave. Takes on the first statue. He's got an invul too. He's going to go for the units first. Now fly. He's going to use the invul. It's only... Not too long, though. I think it's only like... It was a small one. It's not a big one. Yeah, it's already done. Now he's going for the fiends again. Ooh, getting very low blade. He's revealed. Big new coming in, perhaps. There it is. He's going to get the healing wave, though. He should be okay. Oh, he's still in the chase, though. Orc army doing a nice job, though. 1, 2, 0, 45. Food blade. He might fall, though, and he just catches a coil through the tree line. Almost couldn't even see it, and he's gone. Turn of events. Fly had the food advantage, but loses the blade master. He needs to get him back from the tavern, or this is going to be the GG. Able to keep a fiend alive as well. Now it's just fly on the retreat. And he gets the blade back. Let's see. Can he do this? He needs potentially another invul. There's the heal. He's got a heal score onto his SH as well. He needs to find a hero kill. He needs to get something. He's got a wound rider out as well. Kodal gonna fall. Right quick damage coming through. Blade Master Acid Bomb. Can it be enough? Blade Master taking a lot of right quick. No nukes coming though. He doesn't even have enough for a coil. Blade Master, the right quick damage with the orb though, does a lot. Now it's on a DK. He got a surround. Oh no. Can 1 2 0 potentially lose this? He got the death pack though. He should be able to squeeze out. He got the invul too. Nice pass. Should be okay for the time being. Very close though. Now it's on the Lich. He doesn't have a coil though. Lich might fall. Oh no. No, Blade Master might fall too. He's got a heal though. He got the scroll and Pit Lord gonna take him down. However, can he get the DK? Oh no, so sloppy. Got the invul though. Should be okay. Got the surround. Pit Lord, he's got an invul potion as well. Maybe could he get the DK back again or Blade? He's got the Lich back. 1 2 0. Has the resources. 
And the Pit Lord's got a potion of invul as well. He should be okay. DK surround, perhaps. He got the ensnares, looking for the DK. And he can't snag it. He's too quick with the unholy. Lich should be okay as well. We got the frost armor and looks like it's not going to be enough here. Even a coil. SH going to fall for the hex and what a battle. 1-2-0 going to pull off with a not so great start and just completely shift. At least he denies it. Denied! Ooh -hoo -hoo. Zero so showing good micro. There's a speed scroll though. He's going for the fiend. No more coil. The Fiend should fall. Blademaster gonna clean that up. He's looking for another one. There's a Hex. He's got the Frost Armor, though. Blademaster, he's taking a lot of right clicks, though. Might need to Wind Walk. Doesn't have enough for a Coil, though. He's looking for the Fiend. He's gonna Wind Walk now. He needs a couple more right clicks. Shadow Hunter, long distance. Gonna snag it. Oh, almost got the Surround there for 1 2 0. You're gonna fall. Blademaster looking to re engage. He's going for DK. All oh, there's no emergency items. Is there gonna be Ensnare? Blademaster, he's taking a lot of right click. Now he's going to go for Invo. Oh, big critical strike. Still coil. 1 2 0 is micro. Really good. There's a healing wave, though. Blade Master looking for something. He needs a purge. He needs something. Taking a lot of fright quick. He needs another healing wave, though. It's going to be close. Oh, he looks. He went for the pump fake. He wanted the blade, but he goes for the coil onto the pit lord. Blade, good micro coming from both players. Coil going to get on the lich. He's still got an Invo, too. Maybe not. Oh, man. He got a nice, massive critical strike, and he falls. He even had the potion to Invo, but the hex timing there. He's still in the chase, though. Orc Army doing a nice job, though. 1, 2, 0, 45. Food Blade. He might fall, though, and he just catches a coil through the tree line. Almost couldn't even see it, and he's gone. Looks like it's not going to be enough here. Even a coil. SH going to fall for the Hexen. What a battle. 